What's going on everyone? This is Jacob here. Hope you're having an amazing day. And today I wanted to talk about productivity and three tips on how I maintain my productivity, designing software and, and you know basically being on the computer, okay? I find that at the end of the day, when I don't get the tasks that I want to get done, I feel kind of mad at myself, right? I don't feel accomplished. I don't feel complete until I get my tasks done. And I have three tips here that help you get your daily um, productivity in and get your the stuff you want to get done for the day done. Okay. Um, I love, you know, I love that feeling when you're able to cross something off or check mark a task. Uh, it makes it, you know, it's very rewarding and it makes you feel accomplished. Right. And I want to make sure that uh, we're getting our work done. We're getting what we need to get done at the end of the day so we can uh, relax um, either on the weekend or uh, later in the day. So tip number one, sticky notes. Okay. So Windows has a platform called sticky notes if you just search um sticky notes in your brow in your um in your search you can find it and with sticky notes it's super cool it's super simple as well it allows you to create these notes that kind of flow on your desktop so when you open it you'll kind of see this in your previous notes um if you just hit the plus button up here it makes a new note and what i like to do each morning is write three really important tasks that I want to get done um, for the day. Okay. So usually uh, when I wake up, you know, in the morning, get my coffee. Um, the first time I turn my computer, I go on these sticky notes and create a new note. Okay. So usually I write to do, and then I create like an ordered list here. And I will um, usually just write three things. So say, um, make a YouTube video like today, right? Uh, finish blog post and say finish um, contact page on website, right? So it could be anything, right? It could be washing the dishes or chores or uh, you know calling a friend, it could be anything, but I use this uh, specifically for my business and getting my, my, my tasks done with software development. So um, that's tip number one, sticky notes, super helpful. I'm sure Mac or Linux have like an equivalent or you could you know, down some, uh, download some type of free app, but sticky notes on Windows is great. I use it every day and it keeps me productive. It keeps my tasks done. Uh, and when I complete something, what I do is I highlight it and then I hit the strike through button. So it strikes it through and it's so satisfactory. It's so rewarding being able to do that. I just love it. Um, so anyways, tip number one, use sticky notes. Um, definitely gonna help you. Tip number two, I use a, another piece of software called Trello. And what Trello allows you to do is more maintain projects uh, and businesses. It's more of a mid to long term um, board uh, of your project and being able to complete it. So um, their website is trello.com and it's completely free to use. I'm not affiliated by them or anything like that, but they're super, super helpful. And I use Trello for my business, uh, We Trade HQ. So um, here you can create, you know, multiple um, boards as many as you want, right? And a board can consist of pretty much anything. But with software, usually you have, you know, a backlog stuff that say new features that you haven't done yet, but you thought of uh, in progress, testing on hold, um, bugs done. So um, super helpful. You can create as many, you know, columns as you want. You can drag and drop them to other columns say that they're in progress, you can create a new card by simply clicking the bottom here and say, uh, work on, um, new, say new contact page, right? You type that in, press enter, and then I can click on it to edit it and add more detail, like the description, um, any team members that are working on it. So super powerful stuff and really allows you to keep track of your project and complete projects. Um, or say if you run a business or a website, this is helpful for having multiple tasks where, you know, tip number one, the sticky notes, it's great for the day, but it's hard to keep stuff long term um, and, and keep them, you know, organized. They get a bit too overwhelming. So with Trello, it kind of helps you with that a lot. And, you know, say you get it done, you can put in testing. Maybe, you know, you have to bug test it. You have a, you know, Q, QA team and you can drop it to your done folder, right? And this doesn't have to be used for software. It could be used for real life. Um, you could have say homework or assignments. If you're in school, like high school or college, you could put your homework and assignments in here, you know, in progress, uh, working on it or sorry, testing done. Um, you could do it for, I don't know, relationships, life, anything, honestly, um, but it is primarily used for software. That's why it was created. But I think the sky's the limit with Trello and there's lots of cool features that it can be used for. So that's tip number two, uh, Trello. So we had sticky notes and Trello. Tip number three 
is your phone, right? I feel like not enough people use their phone to the fullest potential, right? I use my Google Assistant uh, for everything. You know, every day I have at least two or three reminders going off about me needing to call someone or, or meet with someone to, to grab lunch or whatever it may be. Use your phone's voice assistant. It's super helpful. Google Assistant on Android and uh, Siri on iPhones use it you know i use it every day anytime i set a meeting i'm like you know set a reminder to talk to bob at 4 p.m or, or something farther out super helpful and keeps me organized you know a couple years ago when i wasn't using this i found like i'd have short-term memory loss and and you know I would, i'd miss on uh, opportunities uh, to meet with friends or, or business and I'd be like oh crap i should have set a reminder for that don't get me wrong i still use my calendar like my gmail and my my you know a windows calendar but I'm definitely, if I'm on the go, I want to use my phone to set reminders so I can, you know, at any time where I'm at, get that reminder and then be able to, to handle it. So definitely use your phone more, use your voice assistant and, and set it for everything. And your life will be much more organized. You'll get a lot more work done and you'll feel happier. You'll feel, um, you know, obviously more productive and working towards your goals. The more productive you are, the faster you're going to reach your goals. And, and, you know, the reason why we set goals is to make us happy. We think that, you know, it's going to better our life to achieve, achieve those goals. So why not start with these three simple tips, sticky notes, Trello, and, you know, sending reminders on your phone uh, to help get started with that. So anyways, I, this was a, a really quick video. Um, I know I'm in my different kind of format. Um, I did get a new webcam, so um, I've been testing it. This video was kind of like a test for it. Um, the quality needs a little bit of work, but uh, I think I can make it a little bit better. Anyways, I hope you guys found value in this video. Leave a comment below on your productivity tips or hacks that you guys have. Definitely interested in, in hearing some of yours and, and start you know using them in my life as well. And yeah, if you found value, please hit the uh, like button and subscribe. Helps the channel out and there'll be more content next week. So stay tuned. Have a good one, guys.